Hi, welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you the updated basic shapes that comes with the new Make the Cut 3.0 that was just recently released. So to find your basic shapes, the new icon is up here on the toolbar. So you just click on it and this window will open up. Now you can see right away there's a lot of new shapes. There's actually over 130 shapes included with Make the Cut and they've all been categorized on these tabs according to the type of shape that they are. So there's lots of different ones to choose from. You've also got a Your Shapes tab, so this is where any shapes that you created and added to your own personal library will show up. And then there's a new Find tab, and what this will do is search all of the shapes, including your own custom shapes that are in Make the Cut, and pull them up onto one window for you. So I'll just show you how that works. Basically what it does is searches within the name of the shape. So for example if I just start typing A it's going to pull up every shape that has the letter A in the name. Now I'm going to go AR so you can see that the list gets a little bit narrower and once I get down to arrow it just comes up with the shapes that actually have the word arrow in their name. Now, if I want to add a shape to my mat to start working with it, all I need to do is double click on it, just like that, and you can see that the shape appears on the mat. So I'm going to close this window, and the size of the shape is actually determined by the caret size that shows over here on your virtual mat on the right. So I'm just going to increase that to 2, and then bring in the same shape again just to show you the difference. So I'm going to come back up to Import Basic Shapes and double click on that same quad arrow. And now you can see that that arrow has come in twice the size. So just depending how big you want your objects to come in when you initially drop them on your mat, you can adjust that size right here. Once you have the shape on your mat, uh, resizing, rotating, all of those functions work the same as they did in the older versions of Make the Cut. And the last thing I'm going to show you just quickly is how to add shapes to your own library. So what I'm going to do is just move these shapes so that they're overlapping. I'm going to select both shapes and I'm going to come down here to Weld so that I'm creating a totally new shape. Now to add this into your library so that it shows up under your shapes, all you need to do is right click on it and then click on export and selection to basic shapes. Then it'll come up and ask you to name your shape. So I'm just going to give it a new name and click on add and it tells me that it's successfully exported those shapes to basic shapes. So I'll click on OK. And now I'm just going to go back into basic shapes for a moment and just show you. So if I go to the Your Shapes tab, you can see right here it's my new arrow and there's the new shape that I just created. Now from there I can double click on that shape, close that, and that adds it to my mat. So that's a very quick overview of the new basic shapes and all of the great new shapes that come standard with Make the Cut.